Good morning, November the 17th, 2016. This is CISG 114, Section 1, Web Technology and Light. Today is day number 26 into week number 13. So today, according to the record, we have four students registered to deliver the speech of the semester. So we're just giving them some time to upload a PowerPoint before <coughs> individual students will be given 10 minutes each to deliver the speech of the semester. So let's get started. Hello, good morning. Welcome back. Uh, it's an important class, okay? Week number 13. Next week is week number 14. And of course, if you look at the schedule, we still have um, one more week to go before we hit the target day of the 30th of November. And then if you look at the makeup class day, okay, we are still having class on the 1st of December because of the makeup class day. Uh, I have to check how many makeup class day the school expects to deliver to you. If it is likely, we will also have class on the 5th of December. So you can take it for granted for me and for this class, the 5th of December is the last day you need to get your learning portfolio done. So if you come from today to the 5th of December, you have two full weeks plus four days, okay? Two full weeks plus four days. That means 18 days all together, including today, okay? Well, if you include today, it's 19 days all together. So in 19 days time, you should get this course done and get a good grade for yourself, all right? And I will arrange specific time on the 28th of this month for you to do the in-class uh, course evaluation through your uh, mobile device, through the student web um, information system. If you go to your student web information system and just scroll down the list of course you're taking, uh, at least there's one course CISG 114, Section 1. There, you are invited to complete the online course evaluation starting from the 14th of this week up to the 30th of this month. So, I will give you time specifically on the 28th of this month, about 20 minutes time in class, for those of you who have not done this online course evaluation so that you can complete the course evaluation, the official course evaluation for this course, okay? But this is only done on the 28th of this month because we do not have uh, any more day beyond uh, 28th because 30th is the deadline. So in-class work, uh, one of the jobs you need to do to fulfill the duty as a student of this course is to complete the official online course evaluations of this course, and I will give you time on the 28th of this month when you come back to class to complete it with your mobile devices. You just need to access your student web information system. There you can see a list of courses under your name, and for each of these courses, you need to complete the online course evaluations. And one of these course is CISG 114, Section 1 web technology and like, okay? So I've just given you enough of the time indications. There is no one who should not pass this course, and the only difference is based on the work, based on the number of jobs you have already done, whether or not you got an A or B. So your learning portfolio is very important. It's your indications of your effort, and the score you obtain, and Make an effort to make a good grade. Okay, let me refresh this page to see how many PowerPoint did I receive yet. Now, um, allow me, allow me to remind you one more time. You need to submit your PowerPoint here, just like this. Okay, that's good. Thank you. And then there is another one. Teresa, you did it already. And then open. You need to submit your PowerPoint, okay? You will be given this chance to do it. You hop 
Is it this will or entering? Is this entering? Yo, okay. You need to submit the PowerPoint here before you will be able to give it a chance, okay? You need to get the PowerPoint done and submit it here before you will be able to give it a chance, okay? So you need to submit the PowerPoint now. I will give you three more minutes to submit the PowerPoint. It's now 11.37. We will start at 11.40, all right? So in the meantime, I'm going to take attendance for the day in order to save some time towards the end of the class. Rex, are you here today? Rex, Rex, you're not here. Fiora, you're here. Sequence, Picto, this is Picto. Terry, good. And then it's Neo, thank you. K-O, K-O, Coco. Okay, okay, right here, right? Okay. And then C O C O, thank you. All right. So after that is Adrian. You are here. Vicky, are you here today? Vicky, right? Vicky, you are here. Okay, good. And then it's Aris. Is not here yet. All right. So Lahomi, you are here. Rajon, thank you. And then it's Tai J. You are here. Thank you. Uh, Hopin, you're here, thank you. Schofield, all right, thank you. Rina, thank you. Selena, Selena is not here yet, okay. And then Addison, not here yet. Rita, thank you. Karen, Karen, thank you. Boss is not here. And then is Andre. Andre is not here yet. Tiffany, not here yet. Okay. So let's say the first page of attendance. And then is Teresa. Okay, Teresa, thank you. Uh, it's Sydney. Sydney is here, right? Okay. Ruji, Erica is here, thank you. Abbas, thank you. Will, thank you. All right, that's very good. So, I've given you time to submit your PowerPoint because your PowerPoint is the major prerequisite before we give you the 10 minutes time stop to make a speech of the semester. So make sure you will buy some time now only one minute away before I'm going to invite the individual speaker to deliver your speech. Remember, it's a 10 full minutes speech, okay? You have exactly 10 minutes, and you're not going to deliver more than 10 minutes, okay? So may I go the other way around? So, Teresa, may I give you the turn first? Because the boys are not ready. The boys are not ready. So do you want to give Laomi the chance first? It's either you or Laomi. Okay, which one goes first? Laomi, all right. So Laomi, you are the person who are going to go first. So I'm going to open up Laomi's PowerPoint, okay? What I've learned in this semester to be presented first by Laomi, okay? This is Laomi's turn. Very, thank you very much. Uh, good morning, everyone. I am Naomi. Today I will talk about what I have learned in this uh, uh, in CISG four and four. Um, when I first entered the university, I don't know, I, I don't understand anything uh, in the face of the arrangement of the course. I also don't know uh, anything. When I see my timetable have a course called CISG, um, I'm very troubled because uh, uh, I don't like computer. Mm. But, uh, uh, and the name is, uh, because the full name is Web uh, Technology and Life, 
I am not good at computer. I am a, um, so I worry about my performance will improve. Um, but when I took a week of classes, I found that it was not necessary to learn how to use the computer, uh, which made me very happy. Uh, it turned out that this course is about life, is to teach the network and life. It, uh, this is very special and interesting because we now use the internet every day but we don't know the link between network and life. Uh, take this opportunity, I have learned it. Uh, this course is Um, this course is divided into three parts, uh, learning culture one, learning culture two, and three. Uh, the first part is mainly personal work, the second part is the work of partners, and the last one is uh, the work of uh, team members. I think this branch is very reasonable. When we start this course, we need to complete the homework alone. And later, we need to learn with friends around. Not only let us to make friends, but also let us to all aspect of learning to different things. Because everyone's ideas are not the same. So when we discuss, we, we can communicate with each other, uh, put our ideas out so that we get something we with more. Uh, learning culture one has four parts: Pers uh, proposal, journal, and pair discussion and PPT. Uh, in fact, at the time, I don't know to do this homework. Homework students in the homework the night before reminding me that I know uh, to do homework, so that teamwork is very important. And when I do my homework, I don't know my mistakes. I just keep doing homework. No one can uh, supervise me and no one can help me. This allows me to learn to be independent. So I learn not to rely on others. But it will make me always make mistakes because no one to discuss with me. No one can point out my mistakes. So work on my own. Uh, work on my own. There are advantage and disadvantage. Learning content two has six parts: uh, general pair discussion, pair proposal, pair PPT, blog, and uh, pair presentation and Q and A voice record. Um, I was very in, impressed with this work because it is the work of the groups. Uh, so we have to find a free time to discuss our homework, but uh, we are so busy. Uh, only on Friday's afternoon, we all have time, so we did it from 6 p.m. to uh, 11 a.m. Um, it was really very hard. We spent five hours and finished six items. Uh, if there is a, a personal work, it is impossible in five hours to complete uh, six items. It is impossible to complete it. If it is personal work, maybe I will delay until the homework before the night to do. So that the uh, team work is really great. It helped me complete my homework. Learning Contract 3 has five parts, journal team, discussion team, proposal team, report, and team report PPT. This job is also done by teamwork and in general. Uh, without the help of the team, I cannot complete this task with my own ability. 
So I would like to thank to my uh, team members. Uh, learning control one, two, three, uh, the biggest difference is that uh, from personal work into teamwork. Uh, the most I learned was writing journal and discussion with team members. Every week they have different articles can be read. We have to choose our topic after reading. We write up. Uh, we have to write down the journal. Uh, I think it can make me learn self discipline uh, because it is the weekly homework, not too much work. The beginning may not um, beginning may not exhausted, but now it's not to forget. Uh, for this lazy is great progress. Starting, start doing homework alone. Often feel we, uh, I often feel very tired because uh, and very lonely. Since there is a pair and group member that work together to solve the problems, all the problems could uh, can be easily solved. This made me feel the importance of teamwork. I throw this several works, um, including the teamwork. I learned most is the impact of the network on our life and there are many network benefits. The computer network on the life of ordinary people will also have a great impact. Um, through the computer and network, we can have a new public and provide areas of life so that people's lifestyle in a new form. New York uh, Net Network makes communication between people more convenient so that the relationship between people more closely so that the distance of the world becomes smaller and smaller. In addition, the network will provide us with any service we need so, uh, such a standing and rece receiving message, um, friends and relatives, online shopping, to understand coming news, watch TV programs and the competition of work and learning text and so on. In short, the uh, efficient network system will solve all the problems we need to solve for us. Uh, in general, I learn from the team and to the network and life. These are what I have learned. Thank you very much. Thank you, Daomi. <laughs> you have given a very concise summary of your personal experience and your learning in this course. Now, may I invite the next speaker, Teresa. Are you ready? You just need to scroll down to your PowerPoint, okay? Thank you, Teresa. And double click on this, yes. Wait, okay, yes, thank you. Click on it. Right, and then click on the screen, yes, thank you. Thank you, Teresa. You have 10 full minutes. Uh, today I will talk about what I have learned in this course. Uh, what I have learned the first is to the free to choose our topic. Uh, I think in this course, we have the choice to choose our topic, what we are interested in. And the second is weekly reading and a journal. Um, every week we have a formal reading and we need to read some, uh, read some journal about uh, the social web or what else. And we need to write down our journal. And next is blog and the, the individual work and the teamwork. Um, we have the three learning contract and some parts we need to do by our own and 
some parties need to work together and we can learn a lot from it. And the next is the application of knowledge and light. The first is free to choose our topic. The before the um, the, at the first beginning, the teacher often often talk to students what they should learn, and students just need to listen and practice as the teacher said. Uh, they do work without any innovation, and for a long time, students lose the ability to come up with any new ideas, and their brain uh, gradually stop uh, thinking about something new, and they finally sleep. Um, and now. Now the teacher, the teacher told them the method to learn. Uh, they, uh, we have, we, we need to choose our topic and what we are interested in, and from talk to learn to learn to learn. In this way, we can learn that we really want to, and we'd like to think about some brilliant ideas, and also we gradually learn from how learn to do by ourselves and just not taught by teachers. And here are some weekly reading and journals. Uh, the first is Web 2.0. Web 2.0 is a current state of online technology as it compares to the early days of the web, characteristic by greater and user inter interactivity and the collaboration, more precise network connect connectivity and enhanced communication channels and how information technology works. Uh, information technology, we can call it IT, describes any technology that powers or enables the stream uh, processing and the information flow within an organization. Anything involved with computers, software, networks, uh, web accessories, database, and uh, the telecommunications falls under the IT umbrella. Uh, the 21st century challenges. In a digital world, computer skills are becoming more and more important. How can we make sure the most valuable uh, sectors of UK society aren't excluded and the internet is accessible to everyone? And the next is information Factory com com um, computer is the standards for higher education. And uh, next is photo sharing. Photo sharing we, we use it in our daily life and it's the publishing or transfer of users' digital photo online. Photo sharing websites offer uh, service <coughs> such as uploading, hosting, and making the sharing of photos. And the social web. The social web is a set of social relations that link people through the World Wide Web. The social networking is a social structure made up of a set of social actors such as individual organizations, set of uh, delicate texts, and other social interactions between actors. work. About the learning method, uh, in this method we have done the learning contract 1, 2, and the learning contract 3. In the learning contract 1, we need to do many things by, by ourselves, like uh, our individual journal uh, proposal and the PowerPoint. Uh, we, uh, uh, we choose our topic by ourselves and uh, I choose the, like, uh, web 2.0 as our as, as my reading and I decide what to do and I uh, decide what is wrong and what is right and uh, in learning contract 2 and the learning contract 3 uh, we should uh, we, we have teamwork and we should discussion together and we need to um, uh, we need to find a time to do these things together and Next is teamwork. Uh, we need to find the team leader and the uh, uh, team scribe and the communicator, the team tracker and the team keeper. 
and uh, in our team, I'm, the, I'm a team five member, and uh, my position is the team tracker and the team keeper, uh, timekeeper, and I need to remind them uh, uh, to do their work on time, and uh, I need to find the time to get us together to do these things down. And these applications we use our in our daily life, and uh, uh, most of them are using the social web. Uh, these online social interactions form the basis of much online activity, including the online shopping, education, and uh, gaming and the social networking websites. For example, a user could combine the address and the photographs of their neighborhood branches with a Google map to create, to create a map mashup. It makes life more closer to convenient. Uh, and social map, the mashup, the photo sharing, uh, they are part of our, the part of internet. We use this to share our life. All of this show the internet impact our life and also bring us the benefit. Uh, that's all about my presentation. Thank you, thank you, Teresa. Uh, it's very detailed, and I could see that you are persons who can attend to details very well. Uh, thank you very much for helping us to understand your journey through the semester. And uh, thank you. Yes. So we have uh, heard two speakers, uh, the two ladies who have shared with us their personal perspective to go through the whole semester, just one or two weeks left. And um, we know that you're somehow developing your ownership of your knowledge. It's no longer the knowledge the teacher gives you, but it's the knowledge you select on your own. You start to own the knowledge, own the process of learning, rather than always being assigned to do a job uh, that is very important in a college study because you are the person who is going to develop into someone who can succeed in your personal career. And I often characterize this as the PDP. One is the personal development planning. The other is the professional development planning. Um, doing this coursework, uh, for me, as a designer of your learning experience in this course, is to see if I can help you to transition from a taught to learn student, some teacher had to teach you to learn something, so you are taught to learn, to a student who is able to learn to learn, that means have your own momentum and ability to go ahead to learn something on your own, definitely. It involves your personal choice of the topic and it involves your exercise of certain skills and thinking and methods to succeed. So uh, I'm so glad that uh, we do have students who are able to do this. So let's move back a little bit to see if we got the uh, two speakers today, Hongfen uh, and Will. Have you already submitted your PowerPoint? Uh, if you have done this, it will be very good. So open, am I going to give you 10 minutes now? Yes, I'm going to open up your PowerPoint first. And this is open's turn. Thank you. Information analysis is the best ability 
uh, information and resist and ability to add to uh, information society. Uh, American Education Technology CEO from and from 2001 fourth quarter report of the 21st century ability and quality. It's calling basic learning skills. Uh, it refers to reading, writing, calculation, uh, information literacy, creative thinking, interpersonal and cooperative support, practical ability. Uh, information literacy is one aspect of it that involves the awareness of information, uh, the capacity of information and the application of information. Uh, so, uh, information address is a comprehensive ability. Information address involves all aspects of knowledge. It's a special covering, covering a wide range of capabilities. It contains the humanities, mm, technology, economic, legal, and many factors. And many disciplines have a close content. Uh, the focus of information analysis is a uh, content, communication, and uh, including information, uh, retrieval, and evaluation involving a wider area. And now I will talk about it a uh, standard. And, uh, what the information that the student determines the nature and extent of the uh, information need. Second, the information that the student says need information effective and efficient. Mm -hmm. uh, so, the information that the student evaluates information that is sourced critically and incorporates selective information into his or her uh, knowledge, uh, knowledge based on the value system. And four, the information that the student individually or as a member of a group use information efficiently or to accomplish a uh, specific purpose. Uh, five, the information that the student understands many of the economic, legal, and social issues surrounding the use of information and access and use information exactly and legally. Uh, why I choose the topic nowadays? This is a global information society. Not only, not only information professor, but you but us are necessary to have some knowledge of information and the rest. What do we need to know about it? The nature of information and the rest is a basic capability of the global information needs of people process. In this society, there are lots of college students. In my personal opinion, I think they are supposed to learn and master. Information and address is the ability to adapt to the information society. In this information society, we have an obligation to cultivate the students' information and address. This is for them now and in the future into the community community development plays a big role. Information address is also a comprehensive ability. Information address relates to all aspects of knowledge, which includes the humanities, economic, technology, law, among other factors. Many despise and has a great relationship. The interdisciplinary Study, study of college students, parents, and important of. And above of all, these are the reasons why we want to learn the cultural and information analysis course.
uh, what are four hands for islands? There are uh, in four part. In first part, identity information text, and second, uh, decide on information state uh, So there is a use of information for evaluation, evaluation information. Now I'll talk, now I'll talk about chapter two. Podcast. What is pod, podcast? Uh, podcasting is a term coined from the Apple computer collaboration product. The Apple, which is a portable digital audio device that lets users start music from their computers with a device so that they can listen to it anywhere, anytime. Second, However, the term is no longer exclusive to the actual iPod product. It now can mean any software and device system that allows the user to download audio and store onto on the device for the user's listening. Uh, why we should study podcast? Uh, a great plus factor for podcasting is in the realm of education. While it cannot totally replace the class, classroom stuff, podcast can provide teacher, teachers yet one, um, one more way to connect with students. Uh, as, more, as almost all young people live on the internet, a many one port table audio device, the possibilities of giving them something useful and education through this means are great. Uh, what have I learned? Uh, first, you need to find a website that supports podcasts. Once you have logged into the site, you will first need to subscribe to a podcast as a regular blog and then open the podcast you subscribe to. You will see a play button below each program. Click on the play button, we will automatically open your computer's default playback software and play. You can also download a program to your computer and transfer it to your iPod, MP3, or other portable digital audio by clicking the download button at the bottom of each program. By clicking the download button, you can download a program to your computer player. In addition, the, we can also podcast to spread the Something is very simple. You first need to find a computer with internet access and a headset. And then download a free recording software called Educacy. Then you can open and press the red recording button to start recording. When the recording is completed and switched, you can make your good flow of software up to the uh, uh, network. To share with you. And in chapter 3, we talk about social networking. Uh, uh, in definition, mm. social network refers to a related stable relation system formed by interaction among social members. Social network is connected with the interaction and connection between people. Social interaction can affect affect people's social behavior. Uh, this part talk about what if I didn't. Uh, it's, it is a very common common thing nowadays. A uh, social network is a social structure made up of uh, a set of uh, social actors such as individual organizations, centers of static cats and other social interactions between actors. The social networking makes an online community. 
the social and world press perspective provides a set of events of uh, and rising the structure of full social inequalities, as well as a variant of a series expanding the patterns of observing the structure. The study of these structures used uh, social networks to identify local and global patterns, locate its influential entities, and examine the dynamics. I thank you very much, Hong Ben. You have um, given us a very detailed introduction of the specific topics you have learned in this semester through three different chapters of topics. Thank you very much for the work you did, and uh, we would just want to express our thank you. Okay. Uh, after that, it's uh, Will. Are you are you ready for your PowerPoint? Have you uploaded your PowerPoint? Yes. Let me double check. Okay. going to help us to understand his journey through this course. Uh, I'm going to share what I have learned in this semester and uh, this is the three topics of my learning contracts of this semester, same as something. Uh, number one is what is information literacy. Number two is what is podcast. And number three is what is social networking. And let's just jump to number one. Um, why did I choose what is information literacy? Because information literacy is the ability to know when there is a need for information to be able to identify, locate, evaluate, and effectively use that information for the issue or problem at hand. And we live in the golden age of information. So that is, that is a very important ability for us to equip it. This is the three sub-questions that I bring up of what is information literacy. Number one is what is the nature of oh sorry, uh, this PPT has some problems. I'm just gonna jump across this. And this is the five standards of information literacy uh Hong Bing has just showed us just now, so uh, we will just skip this one. And now we have number two. Uh, why do I choose what is podcast? Uh, podcast is the newest technology on the verge. It has been trending for a decade, and various forms of podcast have been created. This is a good time to review the life of podcast until now. Why it is recreated? Why what's better than podcast? And what possible can happen to foreseeable future of podcast. And this is the three sub-questions of what is podcast. Um, why is podcast created when there is already broadcast? Um, what forms do podcast have? What is the role of podcast in our media life? And to understand podcast, I have a very simple equation. iPod plus broadcast is equal to podcast. And to elaborate, uh, podcast is uh, audio or video broadcast distributed through the internet on a subscription basis. Thousands of free topics to choose from, and it's a very, it's a very portable technology. And, it, and podcasts also have very profound educational use. Uh, for example, um, it can be used to it can be used for problem set demonstrations and lab experiments and provide 
um, audio feedback and can also give sub, sub, uh, supplemental course material. And let's go for number three. Um, what, uh, why do I choose what is social networking? To know social network better is the way to know people's lives better. And to know how internet and social lives are combined and improve each other or ruin each other. To the extent of web technology and at the time of web 2.0, what do we do to direct our ships in the tide of social network? And this is the three sub-questions of what is social networking. What is the nature of social networking? What impact will social networking bring to our social lives? What is the role of social network in our social lives? Uh, to answer the third question, what is the role, what is the role of social network in our social lives? Uh, if we continue overusing the aid of these sites, uh, then it will keep affecting our communication, self-expression, bullying, isolation, friendship, and humanity in negative ways. And there is nothing that can substitute for personal interaction. Social networking is the problem and we must eliminate its overuse for the sake of our future. And throughout this semester, I also required some skills and knowledge following the course objectives. I, I can fundamentally understand the web 2.0 associated with the internet in Europe, including the impact in our daily living using modern day examples. And I am able to formulate and express views on the design of web tools and applications in modern society through case study, written work, oral presentation, and class discussion. And I am able to raise awareness of the impact of web technology on the daily living and widespread focus of the web influence in various sectors in modern living through critical discourses on the use of web tools and thoughtful human endeavors. And that's the end of our, my presentation. Thank you. Okay, we thank you, Will, for giving us uh, your personal perspective on this free specific topic, although you did encounter a little bit of difficulty in the first topic uh, because of the PowerPoint. Uh, overall, it's a very fruitful uh, discussions and presentations on your perspective of what you have learned in the semester. Particularly, I, I'm most impressed by you returning to the three important course learning objectives that we spell out very clearly in the course syllabus. We have course learning objectives followed by course intended learning outcomes. Now, how many of the course intended learning outcomes can you encompass really depends on your personal effort. And I'm looking forward to see your learning portfolio, to see how, remember in your learning portfolio, for each artifact you're going to put in your learning portfolio for the free learning contract, you're going to provide your refractive comments on each of those artifacts. And by providing your refractive comments, first of all, the first learning contract, second of the second learning contract, and third of the third learning contract, I should be able to gaze how many outcomes have you personally been able to encounter? Okay? And including, definitely, uh, the very important skills of masquerading all you learned and presented in your 10 minute this important speech of the semester on what I have learned. It's more important that you go through a self assessment and then reflect on what you did. And many of you did not do it in the past. I did invite my students to do it, particularly within your team. Give your team member a chance to look at what you did in your learning portfolio and ask for their feedback. And that is a very valuable thing. It's called peer assessment of your work. And finally, it's the teacher's assessment to confirm that you did it or to provide feedback to you that this is something you can enhance. Okay? It's important that you develop this kind of um, self-regulated judgment technique, all right? 
So we've gone through the four important speakers of today, and when you come back next week, next Monday, you can see that that is the 21st of November, and I just want to walk you through the schedule I have, and to remind you who will be the speaker next Monday, okay? Let's take a look at this. Uh, definitely next first day we have Rita, and the last Monday we have Vicky, the last Monday, 28th, we also have Rita. Uh, next Thursday, we also have COC Coco. And next Thursday, we have Tai Day. And uh, also, we have Aris. And then we have Selena. Wow, I guess we may be not be able to accommodate that many. Uh, next Thursday, so let me just double clap on this. And then we have Karen, so it's definitely more than, more than seven persons, all right? So, and then looks like next Monday, we do not have any up to this point. Oh, we have K-O-K-O, -K -O, Coco. And then we have, uh, let's see. Now, what I could tell you is, uh, I could see that uh, many of you would like to choose next Thursday. And out of the seven slots there, more than seven students, would like to talk on next first day. And I'm going to move you on the basis of first come, first serve. For those of you who are out of the seventh slot, I will either move you up next Monday or push you back the Monday after this, okay? And then if the Monday after this we can not accommodate all of these, then you have to go back next Monday because that is the only day left with many empty slots here. Okay, I, I can check minutes ago, just let you walk through. Next first day of November the 24th, definitely I can count that more than seven students at up there. And then I will allocate the time slot to you to the maximum of seven students on the first come, first serve basis. And who is going to come first? As you can see that this, any, any persons on top of the other, but come first before the other. So I'm going to allocate the seven slot next Thursday based on first come first serve principle. Okay? And uh, if there are many students who cannot deliver the speech of the semester next month, uh, next Thursday, I will move you up next Monday or move you down to Monday next. Uh, but remember, we need to reserve at least 20 minutes time on November the 28th, the last Monday we have, to give you the opportunity to do or to complete the official online course evaluations in the very last class. That is the advice given to us from this university to make sure you complete it because it's done online. So trust me, I'm going to confirm the schedule next Thursday, who's going to talk first at most seven. For those of you who cannot be allocated, on next first day, you will either be moved up to next Monday or the Monday after the next first day. Um, in other words, if I can tell you friendly, uh, out of the seven slot here, we may not be able to annotate all seven, we can only annotate four or five, okay? Because we just have 75 minutes in class, and four means 75 minus 40 minutes, we just have 35 minutes left. And five means 50 minutes, which is 25 minutes left. So at most it's five students. And so normally we're going to allocate the time at the beginning of the class for 25 minutes for you to complete the online course evaluations and then the remaining uh, 40 minutes or 50 minutes for five students on the very last day of the semester without taking into account the makeup class day because um, you have to know that after November the 30th, all the online course evaluations links will be closed. That is the deadline we need to catch. So, uh, any questions about what you need to do now for the learning portfolio? The deadline, let me repeat one more time because many of you came in late. The deadline for you to complete your personal learning portfolio in this course should be November the 30th. But Given the fact that we're going to have very likely two makeup classes 
So I will extend that deadline to December the 5th. Okay? So instead of November the 30th, the final deadline to get everything done is December the 5th. Not, no more extension beyond that, because that is that. Uh, could be the last day we come to meet again. All right? So keep that in mind. I think it should be good enough, because if you look at the, the table here, this is today. You have one week, you have the second week, and this is December the 5th. You have 18 days up here to complete your learning portfolio. Then it's a full four week cycle for you to work out your learning portfolio, even though we have delayed, remember, in the middle of the semester, one week in the process of allowing you more time to complete learning contract number two. That is important because I do not want to rush you. It's very important that you go through the process with enough time that you believe it's important and many of you did complete it. All right? So, thank you very much for your attention. So, I'm going to take some time now to make sure you know who are going to speak next first day so that I do not need to get confused and you do not need to get confused. Oh, before that, uh, that's it for today's CISG 114 section 1 Web Technology and Life. Until next week, stay tuned.